Hey guys, Beat Cake here. We're test fitting today. It's wheel day. Well, drag wheel day. We are test fitting a bunch of different front and rear wheels on this uh, S650 Dark Horse. The Dark Horse has a bigger brake package on it than the standard uh, GT does. They look pretty big. I don't know that a 17 is going to fit, um, but we've got some of the Weld Overseas wheels, the Weld USA made wheels. We got some forge lines here. We got some fronts. We got some rears. We're going to try some different things and uh, go over the results. Before we even pull anything off, as you can see, so this is 19 inch wheel and inside the barrel here, you've just got finger length. So there's zero chance that you're getting a 17 inch wheel in here, but we're gonna try out the 18s and see how those fit. All right guys, I'm gonna raise this up to get up here a little bit more, but it does look like the 18 inch clears. Uh, brake shouldn't have an issue. It almost looks like the vertical length might be our closest, uh, our closest thing back here. So if you look, the vertical length which could probably be ground a little bit. Um, I don't know that a 17 is going to fit because uh, you got this brake back here. The emergency brake is pretty tight as well. I just don't think you've got another half inch of clearance in there because you're going to have to pull a half inch out of the barrel on each side. I just don't think we're going to get that. I don't think it's even worth trying to test fit that 17, especially here. You don't have a half inch here. But again, you could probably grind the vertical link uh, on this, but the 18 clears without buying vertical links. On the GT500s and stuff, we normally have to buy a vertical link to get it to fit. Uh, we do the Cortex links or the SPE, but it doesn't appear we're going to need a vertical link. But you're still, you're definitely getting tight in there. Um, but they, they do clear no problem on the 18 inch wheel. I'd almost like to try a 17, but I just, I don't, I, I just don't foresee it. Uh, being able to work there with this uh, e-brake and everything like that. Now, one of the other things of notation, uh, you've got a ton of room here, which you normally don't have with the GT500s. Um, so the wheel we use on the GT500s has a 6.7 backspace instead of the 7.5 to 8 inch factory backspace. So I'm thinking we may be able to get to seven and a half, which would, especially on this 18 by 10, would definitely give us a better fitment. So we're probably gonna to wanna to get a seven and a half inch backspace wheel to test fit, because in all honesty, it looks like there's plenty of room inside there for that. All right, next up, we've got the Forge Line 18 by 11 single bead lot. This is what we run pretty much on the uh, Shelby GT500s and GT350s. Uh, ton of clearance out here so the spokes definitely don't need to come out as far as they do on those brakes uh so you can get some uh a little bit tighter spoke on there should look nice uh coming to the back here so the forge line uh again you've got plenty of clearance here on the knuckle or on the vertical link there obviously tons of room there and again it's about the same inside as that other 18 inch wheel so again these are going to fit fine uh, we'll probably end up definitely changing the spokes because you definitely don't need the spoke out this far. So you're going to be able to tighten that up and maybe tighten the backspace up a little bit more uh, once you push the wheel up. But I think these are going to fit fine on there and look good as well. So we're definitely hitting the knuckle. It's hard to tell if we got the wheel all the way down how this would fit. But I think I think it's it's definitely not going to clear. And I don't know in all honesty if you would be able to get this knuckle short enough to get a 17 inch on there, because that knuckle is already quite a bit shorter, or I'm sorry, the vertical link is already quite a bit shorter than the, uh, like the GT500 ones in that. Uh, I know SPE makes uh, one for 17 inch wheels. I wouldn't mind getting one of those and trying it out uh, just to see. Um, maybe we could get that in there and get some, get some more clearance. Uh, I think that's about the only thing at this point we can do is get one of the uh, ones for the 17 inch. Cause if we move that up, it is possible if we get this out of the way right here that we may be able to get that now wheel that on. We know on the uh, dark horse, we're gonna be relegated to uh, 18 inch wheels on the back. Uh, now it's time to ch check out some of these front wheels. All right guys, this is an 18 by five Belmont. Typically again, the overseas made welds have a little bit more clearance. Uh, set this up here real quick, see if it gets through. It's already looking pretty Pretty tight. Phil, over to the right, buddy. You gotta get it in the hole. I'm not good again. No. What, what are we looking like in here? Rubbing? Yeah. All right, so we're rubbing the barrel on the inside. Let's come over and take a look. Yeah, you're definitely not getting through there, so go ahead and slide that off. 
The 18 by fives didn't fit. I didn't think they would. So these are the 18 by six V series uh, front runners, uh, the 88B, 18, or 84B, 82B, 88B, the 180-60-206 front runners. So we did bolt these on. Behind the wheel, there's actually uh, plenty clearance. The way that Weld designs is you got the hump here at the front and then it angles down towards the back and then you've got the caliper. So actually the caliper on the back side, there's plenty of room. I mean, this is super tight. If you come in close here, I mean, you don't even have 25 thousandths, uh, 0.025. You don't even have 25 in there. We tested it. But this wheel spec, I think, will be fine with just a couple couple millimeter spacer on it. And these 18 by 6s will work perfectly fine. Uh, maybe Weld will come up with, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, maybe just a couple more mil on the back pad because the wheel just literally needs to push out just a little bit and, and it's going to be fine. So I think what we'll end up for a drag pack on these, just from the look that I like, I'll probably do these V-series on the front um, with the Belmonts on the rear, an 18 by 10 beadlock Belmont on the rear. Uh, again, we had the 6.75 backspace on the rear that we use on the GT500s, but I actually think the five, uh, seven and a half is going to fit fine. We'll have a set of those in a couple days. I don't have the 18 by 10s in inventory. It's just not one that most guys do. Uh, but uh, we're not going to bother test fitting any of the other 18 by fives. Uh, I'm sure the 20 by sevens would clear as well. I don't see any reason why the 20 by seven wouldn't clear uh, on the front as well. Because again, you've got plenty of room through here. I mean, you've got, I mean, this here, you've got an inch, inch and a half. So again, on the dark horse, 18 by six in the race series, uh, the USA made wheels, these are going to fit. 88, 84, 82, the B180 6206. You just probably want to want to run a couple millimeter spacer to push those out a little bit. And again, on the rears, um, the forge lines fit. They're 18 by 11. Those fit good. Pr plenty of clearance here. I think you might even change the spoke design a little bit, but th they may just keep using that Shelby spec. I think that would be fine. The 18 by 10s, again, we're going to be testing with the seven and a half backspace, 6.7, perfectly fine. I don't like that offset because the 10 inch should be more like a seven and a half to an eight on these cars on the drag pack. And that'll tuck the tire a little bit more. I think most of the guys, they'll do a 305, 45, uh, 17 on, or 305, 45, 18. That's probably the tire we'll put on there along with a uh, 28 inch front runner up there on the 18 by six. But that'll be the drag pack we'll be getting on. We'll be taking it to the track, testing it out. Uh, none of the other 17s dark horse definitely not going to clear 17 on the front of a dark horse definitely not going to clear 18 by fives not going to clear you're going to have to go with that 18 by six or 20 inch front runner depending on what you're trying to do 20 by five uh, 20 by seven all those are going to clear so for the drag pack dark horse 18 by 10 we'll let you know on the back space later this week 18 by six on the front door with the 20 inch matching on your uh, overseas wheels and I think your USA made in the 18 by 10, uh, those should clear as well. I think those are going to clear. We'll get those in. Like I said, I think the, uh, I think the USA made 18 by 10s, those should clear too, or 18 by 10 and a half. I think those are clear. Obviously, that's not something we normally stock because most of the guys, they go for the 17 on those and the 18s and the RTS don't clear. So we'll just have to test them out once somebody gets a set to us. Anyway, that's kind of your drag packs for your dark horse for the GTs. I think a lot of your standard uh, drag packs, 18 by 5, 17 by 10 are going to work fine. We don't have one of those cars. We're pretty sure a lot of that carried over. So we really wanted to go for the dark horse because there's a lot of things unknown about this car. Anyway, all your drag wheels, anything you need, keep following us here at BeefcakeRacing.com. So I figured I'd do a quick little walk around underneath the car. Uh, header system looks pretty much the same. Just like the previous generation, you see Ford, they basically incorporate one catalytic converter on the driver's side is built into the whole system. It doesn't unbolt uh, the lead pipe. When you come back on the uh, passenger side, it does bolt out. It's a weird system. I don't know why Ford did that, why they don't just do it the same on both sides, but you know, probably something EPA if I had to guess. All that looks very similar. Uh, your front suspension, most of that looks like it carries over. Resonator. Uh, the only thing I can think back here on the cat back with a different rear balance, the tips are probably going to sit a little bit different. Uh, we've got some cat backs. I just didn't want to rip one off the shelf because I don't know what I really want to run. 
uh, with this active on here. Um, but the tips look really nice from the factory. They did do a black tip on the dark horse with this package, so that was pretty cool. And I actually like it. So we may start out with some headers versus a cat back, uh, do some headers and then maybe a resonator delete. But I think I'm actually might start with a set of headers first and just see, uh, see how it sounds with that uh, factory cat back. I think uh, back here, I think all your uh, Steeda, your BMR, your UPR parts, a lot of that is just going to carry over from the previous model, which is nice. Pretty sure Ford's already confirmed that the axles, like the, your half shafts, your drive shaft, at least on the 10 speed for sure, is going to carry over. Uh, but hopefully on the, um, on the uh, drive shafts on both of them, uh, the half shafts, that's going to be really nice just from a parts. You know, we inventory a lot of stuff, but every time Ford changes them, now you got to stock more parts. And with, a, with the parts carrying over, the DSS, the G-Force axles we keep in stock, that's going to be good all the way 2015 to 2024 and as they go forward. So that's going to be really nice for us. Again, we're going to keep looking at all the different parts uh, that fit, testing things out, drive shafts, things like that. We're going to get all this stuff on the car. Uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, suspension on here. Not quite sure who we're going to run yet. Uh, we'll see what the manufacturers want to send us. But just uh, keep following us, like, and subscribe. And uh, we'll get this car out and have some fun with it.